I am Marguerite Fair. And I'm Samantha Wagoner. And welcome to the real fake news. Mm. Da, 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 da. Hey. Well, it's nice to see you, Sam. And once again, we are bringing people the news. It's the real fake news. It could be true. It could be false. It could be a combination of both. Or it could be nightmares we were having, you know. Yeah. So I have been waiting with my braided, bated breath to hear your first report. Spit it out, Sam. Let's have your news. Okay. <laughs> first report is a special news report from San Francisco, California. Woo! Apparently, a group of feisty senior actors have taken over the once remote prison facility in the United States, Alcatraz Island. <laughs> oh my. Yes, a crew of YouTube Super News and two Fox News reporters were allowed to attend yesterday morning's press conference. When asked by Leslie Loser, <laughs> <laughs> the YouTube News reporter, what their intention is, the spokesperson for the group of aging thespians uh, stated that they are tired of being underpaid by the Hallmark Channel to pay token grandmothers. Oh my and God! And get paid like stand ins or seat fillers at the Academy Awards. Imagine that. Oh, that's horrible. <laughs> yeah, I know. I was a seat filler. Yeah, that's terrible. Oh, you poor thin. Oh, I enjoyed it. It wasn't the Academy Awards. It was something better. <laughs> anyway, the group leaders said proudly that they would be creating their own production company. And the first project is a reality TV show called Alcatraz Senior Stars Stories. Wow. Which, ooh, ooh. <laughs> which showcases their lives living with arthritis, cataracts, Diabetes, bone density loss, <laughs> bone density <laughs> loss, dental <laughs> problems, ulcers, depression, and toenail fungus. Oh, Maybe good God! Probably a little dementia should be <laughs> thrown in too. <laughs> Their second project will be ongoing soap opera called The Almost Dead. <laughs> wow. We at The Real Fake News have heard rumors that Biden is going to prevent them from getting their necessary supplies, such as dental floss, polygrip, adult diapers, <laughs> icy hot Vicks vapor rub, water, and food. Well, obviously, even Alcatraz Island is part of the big reset. <laughs> Let's go big goodbye to senior actors now. Oh, mm. bye. Sorry, we enjoyed we enjoyed you while you were with us. Yeah. Wow, that's some news report, Sam. Thank you so much for bringing us up to speed about what's happening on Alcatraz Island. You know, you are waiting to hear this. I can tell. This is breaking news from Sacramento, California. How do you like that? We went from San Francisco to Sacramento. I don't think they're that far away from each other, but. Sad news from Sacramento, California. The state's governor, and you all know who he is. Has, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. There you go. He has issued a mandate for all the once perfect and free Golden Paradise citizens. It is now more like a utopian nightmare in the bowels of hell. As he stood on top of his new electric Rolls Royce, he boldly made the announcement that to cut down on the carbon footprints in the state of California, that effective as of January 1st, 2023, each family will only be allowed to have one cat and one dog with no exceptions. No. Yes, this is pretty scary. When the crowd booed him, and he was quick to retort by, sta by stating that random daily block checks will be ongoing. 
any family found not obeying the new mandate can expect to have extra the extra pets removed from the home and you will receive a fifteen hundred dollar fine okay for a first time offense isn't that just just yeah. horrible so sad it's awful when a woman in the crowd who had five leashed dogs uh, with her screamed and she screamed at the top of her lungs um, how much for the second offense he boldly replied there will be no second fine but rather every family member will be removed from the home and taken to holding cells in the high desert for three months and it will be a rehabilitation um, of programming with complimentary implanted chips from Bill Gates and the new line age of adult thinking chips. Oh. Hold on to your skull. This is what happens when you comply. Don't say you didn't see it coming, people, but you know, hold on to your heads. That's all I can say. Oh, that is bizarre. Yeah, I know. I don't know how they think of this stuff. Well, Sam, see if you can enlighten us with another one of your reports that might not be so scary. Yeah, <laughs> this one's a goodie. <laughs> it might not be scary, depending on what you go around doing. Yeah, that's subjective. It could be frightening to me and not scary to you at all. It depends on what you do in your spare time. <laughs> yeah, I guess. <laughs> uh, 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 okay. Breaking news from Fox LA. <laughs> that scares me right there, Fox. Should, yeah. <laughs> Fox News has announced a new trend, licking frogs to get high. Now, Whoa, I know holy cow, get me a frog. <laughs> what happened to ecstasy or medical marijuana? It's kind of gross. Wow. Uh, it was specifically noted, people are licking the Sonoran Desert Toad and it's important to make the distinction. If you lick a regular old frog, covered in regular mucus, you might confuse the amphibian and get something really gross on your tongue, possibly contact, contract um, salmonella. Yuck. Mm -hmm. <laughs> can you get I mean, warts? Can you get frog warts? <laughs> you, yeah, you can get everything. It's a really bad idea. <laughs> While some people are using the toxins from these toads to get high, these chemicals they produce can lead to several bad effects. According to medical authorities, beware of hallucinations, nausea and vomiting, anxiety, cardiovascular problems, seizures, and death. Oh my so, God, you're but, kidding. If you have an urge to start kissing and licking frogs, get help immediately and find a new hobby. I think so. Oh my God. Well, you know, Sam, I don't know. That was pretty scary to me. I I really don't want to go around having to kiss and lick frogs. That's like, you know, I yeah. think generally speaking, we're all in big trouble, don't you? I mean, there's like a... Woo, maybe my next port will help shed some uh, joy. Let's see. <laughs> wow. You won't get a twist if you lick the back of a frog. No, you have to kiss them, not lick them, right? There's a difference. Good luck. Yeah, I know. I, I'm not going to get frogs anytime soon. Okay, now, uh, this is interesting news, as is anything to do with Mr. Musk. Now, Elon Musk calls a press conference from the front lawn of the Telsa Corporation. That's what happened. Late Monday morning, the multi-billionaire Elon Musk stated that since Bill Gates is not an elected official and is hell-bent on lowering the population through various illegal means and getting away with it due to the never-ending corruption in Washington, D.C., um, now owned by the drug and tech companies, uh, that he is taking over the role of the leader of the free world. Uh, so that's actually good news. 
Uh, so yeah, this is what Elon Musk is, is going to be doing. I'm playing with my controls. He stated that since he has more money than Gates and um, any of the other sleazy Valley reptiles, he is the new sheriff in town and wanted the following terms to be made public. As of today, the terms, take down notes, Sam. Are you taking down notes? Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah, this is important for everybody. Okay, as of today, the terms new normal, politically correct, pronoun identification, such as they, them, you, transgender, and the term woke are hereby abolished. Mm, yay. They will be removed from the landscape immediately. And boy, yeah. for some of us, that comes for really good news. Now, mm -hmm. Elon said his terms are invented by the shadow government uh, to cause separate. Uh, he said that those terms, OK, not his terms, but those terms I just mentioned were invented by the shadow government to cause separation, anxiety and trauma. People are now allowed to speak the truth without being attacked. According to the constitutional amendments regarding free speech, attacking people is illegal, which includes verbally bashing someone because they will not accept individual fantasies as reality. Go, Elon! Go, Elon! As far as the trans issue, it is not an issue any longer, regardless of if you were born with a penis or a vagina, or if you had a sex change operation. You were now considered to be the sex you changed yourself into legally, so there is no longer a separation by the word trans. And that makes sense. You've done your thing, now you're who you are. As for the gay community, they may live as they choose, but may no longer impose their sexual preference onto children without expecting to be immediately arrested. Elon Musk, we the people, thank you. Keep making money and keep those politicians in line. Yay, that's it. We did it. And now we have done it again, Sam. We have done the real fake news report. So I am Marguerite Fair. And I'm Samantha Wagoner. And thank you for watching the, the real, real fake news. We're out of here. Bye. Bye.